Upper Coastal Plain by Doreen Bennett. Table of Contents The land is flatter in the Upper Coastal Plain. President Jimmy Carter lives here. The Upper Coastal Plain is in South Georgia. Let's explore! Hi, I'm Baxter. Let's explore the Upper Coastal Plain. It is Georgia's largest geographic region. A region is an area named for the way the land is formed. The fall line divides the Piedmont region from the Upper Coastal Plain. This is a strip of land that falls steeply. Wiggle your toes in the sandy soil. Rivers become wider in the upper coastal plain. They move more slowly. Wiggle your toes in the soil. Land is flatter in the upper coastal plain. A plain is a wide, flat area. Wiggle your toes in the soil. The ground is soft and sandy here. Rivers grow wider in the upper coastal plain. They move more slowly. There are few rocks to make rapids. Rapids are fast moving waters in a river. Scientists at the Coastal Plain Experiment Station help farmers. They study the best way to grow crops. Many crops are grown in rows, like these carrots. Scientists help Georgia farmers. The summers are long and hot in the upper coastal plain. Sometimes there is not enough rain. Scientists at the Coastal Plain Experiment Station help farmers. They study the best way to grow row crops. These are plants to eat that are grown in rows. Now, most of the row crops in Georgia are grown here. Vidalia onions are sold all over the world. Farmers grow many things in the upper coastal plain. Climb on the tractor. There are many farms in the upper coastal plain. Farmers grow peanuts, peaches, and pecans. Cotton and carrots grow here. Vidalia onions grow here. They are sweet. They are sold all over the world. There are dairy farms too. Farmers sell milk and cheese from cows and goats. Jackie Robinson was born in the upper coastal plain. Some Blackwater rivers have white sand beaches. Baseball and Blackwater. Jackie Robinson was born near Cairo, Georgia. He was the first African American to play Major League Baseball. Some rivers nearby are called Blackwater Rivers. The water in these rivers is clear and dark, but it's not dirty. Some have beaches made of beautiful white sand. Pine trees are cut into lumber. Lumber is used to build houses. Farmers grow pine trees in the upper coastal plain. Pines growing in rows. Let's go farther south in the upper coastal plain. The soil is very sandy here. It is too sandy to grow crops we can eat. Farmers here grow pine trees instead. You can't eat a pine tree, but you can build a house with pine lumber. These are boards made from trees when they are cut. Providence Canyon was made by erosion. Water causes erosion. It makes ditches in the soil. Hike into Providence Canyon. Let's hike to the bottom of Providence Canyon. A canyon is a deep cut into the earth. It was made by erosion. Water washed the soil away. Rain ran off of land that was cleared for farming. The soil was not protected. The water made small ditches. The ditches grew larger and larger. Providence Canyon is still growing. Scientists study the Kolomoki Mounds. They found clay sculptures in the mounds. The Creek Indians buried their chiefs in the Kolomoki Mounds. Let's visit Kolomoki Mounds. Creek Indians built the Kolomoki Mounds in this region. This is one of the largest Indian mounds in Georgia. The Indians buried their chiefs here. 
They also built temples on the mounds. Scientists found clay sculptures inside the mounds. Some sculptures looked like animals. River boats like this once paddled up and down the rivers. Rivers in the upper coastal plain separate Georgia from its neighbors. Who is next door? Georgia and Alabama are neighbors. The Chattahoochee River separates them. Georgia and South Carolina are neighbors. The Savannah River separates them. People once traveled up and down the rivers on river boats. Today, we ride all kinds of boats, even jet skis. Glossary. Word index. Image credits and about the author.